Okay, using FileMaker and MobiPrint, uh, we are going to print to a Zebra mobile printer through Bluetooth. Um, so the first thing uh, you'll have to do is open up FileMaker. Um, we, in this example, are going to use uh, the open URL command uh, to pass the variables onto our, our uh, application. Okay, so um, this part uh, is always necessary. It has to be there. Um, everything after the, the question mark um, starts your variables. Uh, they can be in any order, v1, v2, v3, um, you know, equals, is, with, uh, FileMaker. Those are the variables we are going to pass. Um, so we're uh, going to try this out here. Save it. Um, let's go over to my iPad, open up FileMaker. Okay, so this is uh, the application on FileMaker Go. Um, you see we just programmed uh, those variables from FileMaker, and that's the button that we use. You see right here, um, it, it transferred over the variables, um, and then it, assuming that you have an attached printer already in our application, you click print and out comes the print. So um, that doesn't do you much good if you're trying to print uh, from your tables in FileMaker. So that was just a basic example. Now I'm going to get into more of a functional example. Um, in this case, uh, we have, um, and I've already copied the, the link in here to save some time, um, but you will see that I have programmed in dynamic tables. Um, so we're looking at variable one, sales orders, bill to name, um, variable two, sales orders, bill to company. Um, these are the variables pulling from the database in FileMaker. Um, so we're just going to save that. Um, and we're going to go back over to FileMaker. Um, okay. Um, now, originally in FileMaker, you can produce nice PDFs um, like this, uh, and uh, but we have no way to print them out on a mobile. So the whole purpose of this uh, is to. Um, transmit that data over to our um, Mobi print application to, to print out on a mobile printer. Uh, so there's the this arrow button that we've already programmed. Um, you'll see variable 2, variable 3, BP, 260 motor parkway. Um, it's possible that the variable 1 just didn't have any data in that field so it didn't, uh, it ignored it. Um, so now since those variables have been transmitted into uh, our application we can um, import uh, some print format code uh, to match uh, what you already have existing or if you want to create a new receipt um, and uh, we would select that in the setup uh, from this point we can we can auto print when it opens this page um, and we can actually even after print we can send you back to the FileMaker application that requires just a, a, another parameter at the end of the URL. Um, but uh, let's show you how that works. So let's uh, check out the speed of the auto print. Go back to FileMaker. Of course, I have this login screen. Okay, um, so we're back in the same our same database application. We're going to click arrow. And uh, it should be auto printing. There it goes. So um, about a second to print and return to the application. So from this point now, you have the variables in the application. Um, printing with the stock label format just prints out uh, the variables um, in, in a column. Um, in order to customize your label format, <coughs> you will have to make some uh, print format code um, in Zebra Designer, uh, and uh, when the placeholders that you need to use um, for each variable that you define in your original um, transmission is right here. So this is going to place variable one, 
in this spot, variable two in this spot, all the way up to um, however many variables you're trying to pass up to about 2100 characters, okay? Um, so that's how you define what, where the variable print uh, goes on your label format, okay? Any questions, please shoot me an email, brent at arrowheadcorp.com.